Good morning. My name is Jeremy Watkins. I am the Director of Financial Aid here at Elizabeth City State University. And today I wanted to share with you some information about your financial aid, um, how you can keep track of it, what you need to do every year, and how you can maintain your eligibility uh, all through your four years at ECSU. So the first thing that I wanted to go over is to where to find your information. So hopefully you are already having access to your email, you're using that regularly, uh, and using self-service banner, because this is the place that you go to register for classes, it's the place you go to see your grades, um, you definitely want to take a look at your student account there, and for us, there is an entire tab devoted to financial aid. So if you have questions about your financial aid status, that's where you want to start. Log into SSB and you can see there any financial aid requirements that you have. You can also, there will tell you any specific documents that you may need to complete. So like as a first year student, um, this would be most likely the first time that you have borrowed federal student loans. And when you are a student borrower, there are some obligations you have to complete some documents online for those student loans. And they'll show up on self-service banner as well with links to take you right to where you need to go to complete it. Uh, so you can also see on your, uh, under your student tab, where your financial aid has dispersed. Uh, you would uh, need to know the difference between what we talk about as far as awarded aid versus dispersed aid. So if you're looking under the financial aid tab, that shows you your award. If you go over to your student accounts tab or your student account by summary, that's where you'll see your actual charges and you can see where your aid is actually paid to your account. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping track of that. So like at this point in the semester, uh, most likely your aid has already paid to your account. If you look at your student account summary, you will see that amount there. It'll show all your charges for tuition and fees, housing if you're on campus. Um, but then it'll also show where your financial aid dispersed, where that might be a Pell Grant, a student loan, institutional aid like a Viking Grant or appropriated grant. All of that will exist there. So you wanna make sure you keep it up with that because if you look at it right now for fall, you're going to see what that looks like for this semester. But once registration and bills have gone out for the spring, later in like October, November, um, then you'll be able to look to see what your situation looks like for the spring. Now your financial aid is done for the year. So all of that's gonna be represented in self-service banner. So that's gonna be your basic one stop or at least the first place you wanna go for information about your financial aid status and a lot of other things. So make sure you are taking uh, advantage of that and keeping track of that throughout the semester. So when you were originally awarded, the first thing that you had to review on self-service banner for financial aid were your terms and conditions. And this is just a reminder of what those were. You have to accept terms and conditions each year. Uh, so you will see these again if you haven't seen them now. You can always view them on self-service banner anytime during the year. They have their own link as well. Uh, so just make sure that the first, the first rule is that you accept your terms and conditions. You have to read them so you make sure that you understand what it is they mean. And basically the terms and conditions are the requirements and rights and responsibilities of your financial aid for you. So it tells you how we disperse your financial aid, what you have to do to maintain your financial aid, uh, what you need to do each year to be considered for financial aid, all that stuff's right there in the terms and conditions. So basically a quick FAQ of what you have to do to get financial aid and how you, what you need to do to make sure that you keep it. So once you have um, viewed your terms and conditions, uh, make sure you're familiar with those, and then remember that you will have to accept uh, those each year once we make a financial aid offer. And there's just an example of what uh, one of those terms are included on the, oh, Manasha, this is a problem. This